Hello everyone, Stefan here back for another recipe. Now, you've been many to actually send me all kinds of recipe to make and I absolutely love it. It's a great contribution, it really helps me to find some guidance on what to make. But most importantly, a lot of you actually kind of hinted, can we see something from the south of France? Can we see the Provence and stuff? And because it's winter here in Australia, I never actually think about this, you know, but I thought, you know what? Let's do this. So last week we were in the Normandy region and this week's recipe we're going to travel all the way down south to the beautiful town of Nice. Now Nice is on the French Riviera, it's on the coast, you got the, the Blue Sea, the Mediterranean Sea and it's crossed just next to the Italian border. So you get that real farniente vibes. It's hot, it's very lazy, and we need a recipe that reflects that. So the specialty of Nice, or one of the specialty, is the pie saladière. It's a simple look-alike French pizza, which is a simple kind of a bread dough, handmade, on which you have a layer of caramelized onion and it's simply topped with black olives and anchovies. It's a beautiful recipe from there and you need to try it. So like I said earlier, the uh, pizza saladier is, a, is like a pizza. So if you want, you can buy a pizza base from your bakery or from the shop that's already pre-made and use that to make that recipe. Today, of course, we're not going to be lazy. We're going to make our own base. And it's very simple, like a bread dough using flour, water, milk, some dry yeast and some salt. That's for the base. Now, the pizza saladier, what exactly, what kind of taste are we going to get? First off, and most important, the base of that pizza is made with something that is called the pisala, hence the name pisala here, which is an ancient recipe for fish paste that we're going to try to recreate today, made out of anchovies, sardines, olive oil and herbs. Okay, so you're going to have that flavor, that fishy flavor at the bottom of the base and then we're just going to caramelize some onions that are infused with some fresh herbs, you know, some thyme and some professional herb. And the rest is decoration, black olives and some more anchovies. But trust me, once you make it, it's really special. So let's cook. The first thing you're going to do in that recipe is make your base or your dough. Okay, and uh, that's if you don't buy it. I'm taking here, there's about 25 centiliters of lukewarm water and I'm going to put a satchel of yeast, which is about like 5 grams of dry yeast and I'm going to dilute it in my water just to make sure I activate the yeast, the yeast and I'm transforming this to be using that in my dough. Next, it's very simple. You take a large container like that, 250 grams of flour inside, you're going to put about a pinch of salt, it's up to you, one or two pinch. You make a little, a little well in the middle, like this. Okay. And immediately you're gonna start to incorporate your liquid. So you can put a bit of the milk and some of the water. And very quickly, you're gonna have to incorporate everything together to make basically a dough. Once you're here, you get the base of your dough that's formed. You're gonna add about, it's like about five tablespoons of olive oil. Uh, so we're gonna add some fat content in there. To finish your dough, you can use about 50 grams of flour, or maybe a bit more, it depends on the flour you use because there's different absorption level. But you're gonna work it until you basically get the consistency of a nice dough. So as you can see here, it starts to look like a nice pizza and then you can start to use your hands. I like that part. All right, that's done, look at this. I've got my pizza dough, my pizza base. It's nice, beautiful, it doesn't stick to the fingers and this is exactly what you want. So we're gonna leave this now in here to rest. You just cover it with a cloth and you're going to let it rest and let it grow for an hour. And now the pisala. Now I'm literally going back in time. This is like a Roman <laughs> recipe. I mean, can you imagine that? This is how French cooking works. Okay, I found some obscure recipe. It says two cloves that you have to crush. A few fennel seeds. 
that you also have to crush, kind of. Let's make the base. And then we're gonna add a small tin of sardine and olive oil that you have to smash in the mix. You add a little bit of olive oil. Keep on mixing. And then you add about five or six anchovies. When you get to that point, the final bit is basically add enough olive oil in order to get some kind of semi-liquidish paste that we're going to be able to basically spread on our base. But yeah, that's the mix. We've made a pisala. And now for the most important part of the recipe, the onions. Now, the onions plays an integral part because this is really basically an onion pizza and have to be well cooked and caramelized and that's really really going to give you that specific taste that we're looking for. So I've got here a kilo of onion so they have to be thinly sliced. Now if you're a bit of a masochist you can do that by hand but I would not recommend it. I've used a food processor. Bit of olive oil in your pan, well not a little bit actually quite a good amount and then you're going to simply put your onions on there you know, on a medium heat, you don't want to burn the onions and that's very important. So we're going to have to wait until they really get caramelized. So you can do them in two batch or one batch, it's up to you. When you've got some of the onions in, a bit of salt, not too much because our fish paste is salty. A bit of herbs and a few twigs of fresh uh, thyme that I've got here. When that's done, stir a little bit to blend everything in. You can add maybe one or two bay leaves. And we're gonna let these things gently cook until they caramelize. So the, the key here, the key technical aspect of that exercise, do not keep on stirring, stirring, sorry, or stirring your onions because they're gonna disintegrate. So let them in the pan like this with the fire and from time to time we're going to mix them. So about 10 minutes in you can see the color start to appear so we're on the way. It's a long process it can take 10 to 25 minutes huh? so keep on stirring as you can see I'm using a spaghetti fork because it doesn't smash the onion you know I can move them around. Also make sure you preheat your oven right now at 200 degrees Celsius or 400 Fahrenheit so we are ready to bake our pizza when the time comes. Look what I've got here this is our dough. Let it rest for an hour, I was making the stuff. Look at this. It's like an absolute lovely pizza dough. Nothing beats homemade stuff. Smells delicious, so I'm just gonna lay it out in a dish and we're gonna dress up the pizza. And now guys, for the crucial time, the assembly. So as you can see here, I'm using just a simple baking, baking tray. I've dusted with uh, flour the bottom slightly because I'm gonna use my dough and I've cut it. Cut a piece of dough already. I'm going to put in my pan. So again, homemade stuff, don't worry too much. Make sure it fits in there. Now, next, the famous or infamous pisala, which is that kind of fish paste. So you start by adding a little bit of that paste everywhere. Okay. And from here, you're just going to spread. Once our Roman paste has been laid out, looks a bit brown, now you're going to apply a generous layer of onion a bit everywhere. So same process, put some onion and you spread them all over your pizza. Alright, it's taking shape. So we've got two layers, we've got the pisala, we've got the onion and now one of the vital parts is to lay out some lovely little olives. Last but not least, the anchovies. Now, if you're using pisala because it's quite salty, there is usually not so many anchovies on a pisaladier, okay? But if you don't want to use the pisala, you can definitely skip it and use lots of anchovies at the top. I'm going to put this in the oven at about 200 degrees Celsius or 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 
20 minutes or until it's nice and crisp, nice and cooked. And we'll see the result. And it's aperitif time, guys. The pizza salad here is out of the oven. I let it cool down a little bit. And uh, this is what you get. It's actually quite brown in color. But it is really a simple dish that you get for, uh, you know, the aperitif is really the time before eating or in the sun for a little bite. So I put a little of decoration, but let's, let's try to uh, cut a piece somewhere. I don't even know where to, where to cut it. Uh, over there. So it's, it's really like a pizza. Even the dough looks very crispy. Very crunchy, very crispy. And I would serve it, you see more like little bites like that. that that would be my idea of oh and by the way this is the first time i ever made that recipe <laughs> but look you got that layer of onion that kind of oh it's actually quite soft huh? the dough let me try it oh. Mm. oh it's an interesting mix of um look at that the sweetness of the onion the crunchiness of the bread and that very fish paste at the bottom Mm. Mm. It is very, very peculiar. In the same time, extremely interesting for a little bite. Really interesting. I actually never tried a proper, properly made pizza la dire, but it's really, really enjoyable. I would serve this honestly on a table with your friend, maybe with a little white wine, you know, before dinner when you're having a bite. There's a perfect little kind of little appetizer type of things. Perfect little recipe. But hey, guys, that's Stefan here again for another French recipe. This is a classic, it's just a little comfort food type of recipe. If you can, try it out and let me know what you think in the comments. And of course, I always try to respond to your beautiful comments. But that's it, I'm out. Have a good week and I see you for the next recipe. Bye bye.